What is up guys? Today's February 2nd, 2022, and this is going to be one of the biggest videos of the year in terms of openings. Um, so it's a very big one. You guys are going to be very surprised. Maybe I'll be surprised today. Um, the amount of anticipation right now is killing me, so I'll get started. Um, in front of me are two boxes of 2021 Leaf Art of Sport, multi-sport of course, Emerald Edition boxes. Uh, these were released on Leaf's online store on January 26th, 2022, so just around a week ago. They sold out extremely fast, and there's only um, 250 boxes of each Emerald Edition box ever made. And uh, there were 450 each on the website with a limit of two per customer. So, of course, I did get two. Um, one to open and one to either hold or sell. I just received mine today. And the regular format was released on their website shortly after, um, maybe like the next day, I think. It was on January 27th. And those are currently shipping out. So there's not a whole lot of info on this product yet on, in terms of uh, box openings. Uh, each box contains four encased hits. Uh, there are two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box from what I've seen. And uh, the two autos are going to be on the left, stacked on top of each other, and the two mem cards will be on the right. Um, so they will be in one-touch mags, uh, uh, facing vertically and upwards. And uh, looking at the checklist, it is quite large with some absolute insane hits, including some big soccer ones, which I'm looking out for. And uh, a lot of the big cards still haven't been pulled yet, so... The product is really new and the ceiling is really high. There's a total of 15 different hit subsets, including eight autographed and seven mem to be exact. And this is probably the most excited I've ever been opening a Leaf product. And it's also my second ever Emerald box opening after um, last year's Leaf Lumber Baseball, which I did in March last year. Um, these sealed boxes alone are worth about $700 right now in the secondary market, which is nice to know. So we will get opening. Um, I'm going to go with the left box today and uh, not open the right box. And um, it's just a slight superstition. Why? Because fun fact, the last time that I had to pick left or right between uh, Emerald boxes was last March, of course, for 2021 Lumber Baseball. And I opened the right box and I sold the left one to a small breaker. And it turns out the left one actually had one of the product hits. It had the one of one Ken Griffey Jr. Um, bat autograph. So that is probably one of the product hits. And I'll just leave it at that. So maybe a tiny bit of regret in there, but... It's all good. We'll make up for it today. All right, so I cut the seals. There's no going back. Uh, we'll do it in the order top auto, top left, top mem, top right, and then the bottom auto, bottom left, and bottom mem, bottom right. All right? Oh. All right, so we'll slowly reveal the top auto, and it is going to be, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I think this is part of the base auto subset. Um, I'll just take it out from under like that and hide the rest. Uh, this is a base auto of Giannis, serial number three of only four in the Emerald Parallel. And that foil frame is absolutely gorgeous. I have never gotten a Giannis auto before or let alone a Giannis card. And what a way to do it. I mean, you guys can see on the back there, it is... Uh, the checklist, the checklist code would be BA-GA1. So this is part of the base autographs checklist. And I love the frame design. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, seal number three of only four. That is a fantastic auto to pull. I am super stoked. All right. And time to pull the mem card. We'll just take that out without looking. And our second card is going to be a paint by, the, uh, by numbers. 420 career touchdowns. Triple relic, including one nasty three-color patch on the right, of Dan Marino, serial numbered three of only three in this beautiful emerald parallel. I love this subset design as well, and what an absolute beautiful patch that is. And here's the back, checklist code PBN-03, and of course it's game used. Leaf does not do you dirty like Panini there. Wow, so we've gotten one beautiful basketball auto, one fantastic football mem, and we'll move on to the bottom cards. So we'll go with the bottom left card. I did see that was an auto there. So of course, our third card is going to be another base autograph, this time of Carl Lewis, serial numbered one of five in the Emerald Parallel again. I will take that out. So we got two basketball autos. 
Again, love the design on that. The frame is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, not the best auto we could get, but again, it is an out of five short print and a sweet looking card. And this one has the code BA-CL1 for the checklist if you guys are interested. All right, and then moving on to the final card. It's gonna be a mem card. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Slow reveal, we'll just do it in the box. And it is, okay, it's sideways. It's going to be fourth and final card. No way. We got an Objet Dart dual relic for Giannis again. So we pulled two Giannis's in one box. Serial numbered one of only three. Again, lastly, also in the Emerald Parallel. And then we do have some bubble wrap at the bottom. So I'm going to close the box right there. Sweet dual relic. And then there's the back, code ODA-10. Uh, I do love the design of this dual relic subset. It is truly an object of art. So that is the box right there, guys. Um, our four cards are beautifully laid out in front of us. So three basketball cards, one football card. Um, I'm not going to complain because we did get two Giannis's and a nice sweet Damarino along with uh, another basketball auto. But uh, although there's no soccer in this, uh, this was an absolutely fantastic break. I am not disappointed by any means. I'm actually super excited and super happy that I picked this box to open. And I will take these four. I will put them in one touch sleeves, keep them in good condition, and they're going straight into my PC. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And let me know what you guys think down below um, of this product. And I'm just super thankful that I was one of the few people that I got to open an Emerald Edition box. So yeah, in my opinion, this is one of Leaf's best releases ever in terms of just design and card quality. And they give you unscratched mags and everything. It's just absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 product. Big thumbs up for me, guys. And so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and stay safe. I'll catch you next time. Peace.